Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I've got the MPC Key 61 in front of me and I was thinking about how everyone uses the MPC products to make beats. Now, what if we took the same looping technology and we made a ballad? So I'm gonna show you my setup here and then I'm gonna just record this and show you a quick little snippet on how you can record a ballad using the looping functionality on the MPC Key 61. So my setup here is I have one sequence 98 beats per minute, four bars, and then I have a few tracks set up here. So I've got the piano track, strings, so let me play these for you. The piano. It's got a little bit of some delay and echo in there, and that is set up in here. So I have the ambient. There's also some other low and soft flavor. This is actually the intimate preset, and I tweaked the reverb just a little bit on it. Then we've got the strings, my favorite. The slow strings here. Then we have an EP, which is the Dreamy Mechanics Stage EP. It's mostly the mechanics of the electric piano. I'm gonna go with that. And what I'm doing here is double tapping stop and it kills all the effects, so listen and it just cuts everything by double tapping the stop. Then we have a pluck. And then on five, I have the Tenderness Fabric XL. And those are my tracks. That's all I've got. So we're gonna start with the piano. I'm gonna lay this down. Again, four bars. I'm gonna click record. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna go into the timing correct and turn that off because for this ballad, I'm not gonna to worry too much about having everything in a time slot because it's not technically a beat. So we're just gonna go in. I've got my metronome turned on. So then if we go, I'm gonna hold shift and go to metronome. Just gonna make sure that's on record and play. And then uh, we're actually just going to put it on record. When you tap on record, you'll see it turns on there. And we're gonna hit play start, which is gonna play. So right now my cursor is a little bit further into the sequence by, if I just pressed play, it would pick up recording from there. Play start is gonna go back to the beginning and record. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna give us four beats to count in and we're gonna start recording this thing. Now we can seamlessly switch between our tracks while it's still in overdub mode. Now, if we want to play around with this string sound, could take overdub off. And it's not gonna record anything, and then we can come back in. Now I'm gonna play around with the guitar a little bit more before I record it. And we're gonna switch out this guitar sound because I feel like it's just a little bit too bright. So let's try the gentle nylon string.
Yeah, let's go with that. We'll make this just a little simpler. Not as big a fan of that, so we're gonna hit record and start from the beginning. And again, I'm not overly happy with this sound, so I'm gonna hit locate preset. And let's see if we can do another nylon here. Um, that's a bit smoother. So we're gonna go back in, play start. And then we can actually simultaneously go in, insert a new track, and go in, let's throw a bass line in there. into our mix mode and then we could actually go in and adjust the different volumes here. We've got this beautiful little ballad. So if I go in, here it is without the metronome. Go in and add some insert effects into here. Let's go in and add just a really big, nice delay in there. So that's a really quick example. Basically what I did is I just set it up a little bit beforehand. We can show and hide the detailed track view from here. I set up all my tracks beforehand. And again, we could see these uh, in a little bit more of a stacked fashion here. So I had these set up. I switched between them while I was recording. And then I got to this track six and that's where I added in that bass line while it was still recording, I was able to do all of that and then go in and do effects and stuff like that. So really flexible. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I love the MPC Key 61. I think it's an extremely powerful way to get ideas down as a songwriter. I can just go in very quickly, tap tempo and just put an idea down very quickly, add some instruments to it. And then I'll go over to Pro Tools, full-fledged DAW to actually produce a song, but this is a really quick way and a really easy, intuitive way to get a song down really quickly. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music.